الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى All things are due to Allah My dear brother My dear sister Are they trying to scare you? Are they trying to scare you? Are they threatening you? Telling you that they will destroy you? Telling you that they will make sure you suffer? Are they saying that to you? Are they trying to scare you and telling you that they will make sure they make your children go bad? Are they doing that? Then please tell them. Why should I fear? And how and why should I fear? Why should I fear and how should I fear what you associate with him? ولا تخافون أنكم أشركتم بالله. And while you are not afraid of associating partners with Allah, why should I fear you? Tell them that. فأي الفريقين أحق بالأمن؟ You and I, who deserves security? Who deserves to be secure? I believe in only Allah. And you are associated partners with Allah. And you try to scare me. You and I, who deserve more security? Ask them. فَأَيُّ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ أَحَقُّ بِالْأَمْنِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ If you know it, tell me. And if they don't know, tell them. This is the answer. الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبِسُوا إِيمَانَهُ بِظُلْمِ أُولَئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنِ Tell them, don't you know, those who believe in Allah and do not mix their deeds with shirk, with associating a partner with Allah, deserve, deserve, will feel more secure. So if they try to scare you, tell them, for you is only Allah. And he is the most powerful. And tell them you rely on Al Hafidhu. <laughs> tell them I rely on Al Hafidhu, the preserver. Tell them I rely on Al Hafidhu, the protector. Tell them I rely on Al Hafidhu, the one whose power preserved the heaven and the earth. Tell them, I rely on Al Hafizu, the one, the one who preserves all his creations, and he never gets tired of protecting them. Tell them, you, you rely on Al Hafizu. Tell them, Fallahu Khairun Hafiza. I depend on him. Fallahu Khairun Hafiza. Fallahu Khairun Hifza. Wa huwa Arhamun Rahimin. Tell them. Lahu Mu'aqibatun min bayn yadayhi wa min khalfi. Yahfadunahu min amri Allah. Tell them. I depend and I rely on Al-Hafidhu. Inna nahnu nazzalna al-dikra wa inna lahu lahafidhu. He will preserve me. He will protect me because I believe in him. I sincerely believe and I depend and I rely on him because he is Al-Hafidhu. Wa hifza min kulli shaytanin mani. Believe me. Take only him as your protector, you will be protected. I bear witness. He is one and the only one, and the uniquely and the unique one, 
and the most high the supreme and the majestic Allah I believe he is one and he deserves to be worshipped they said he has gone astray Allah swear when I swear by the stars when it goes down. Your companion did not go astray. No, 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 no. He did not go astray. They said he speak out of his heart, heart desire. Allah said, believe me, he never speaks out of his desire. He never speaks out of his desire. But rather, whatever comes from him, it is a revelation revealed. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, his name is Muhammad. His name is Muhammad, the most praised one among humankind. His name is Muhammad, the most praised one among the creations of Allah. And those who believe in Allah and they do good and they believe in that which was sent to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this is the truth. Kaffar anhum sayyatihim. They will have all their evil deeds removed. And their living condition will be improved. Why? Because they believe in the uniqueness of Allah. They believe in the oneness of Allah. And they understand and they believe and they follow Muhammad Rasulullah. Due to that, they will have happy life here and hereafter. I bear witness. He is the last and the final messenger of Allah, Muhammad. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, today my topic, be even in that, my topic, I am taking you from the enjoyment and the happiness of this world, from the comfort of this world, and from the sadness and the sorrow and the grief of this world, and the oppression and the killing of the innocent from the, of this world. I am taking you from here to over there. I'm taking you from here to over there, over there, where I am taking you to. Do they not realize that they will be resurrected? Do they not realize that they will call they will be called to account? Do they not think that Allah will ask them and He will raise them up? Are they asking when? Tell them. On a great day. On a tremendous day. On a great day. On a terrible day. On a mighty day. And on that day, what is the event? The day mankind, humankind, will stand before the Lord of the universe. Are you ready? Did you prepare for that day? The day that you will be standing before the Lord of the universe, the Lord of the world, the majestic, Allah, the unique, the only God, and the just, and the just, and the just, 
who will judge are you ready i'm taking you today to the day we shall remove the mountains i'm taking you over there the day we shall remove the mountains and you see the earth prominent you see the earth plain and we will gather them everyone and we will not leave anyone out we will not leave any of them out and they will line up in front of Allah. They will line up. They will line up. They will line up in front of Allah. They will be lined up in rows. Rows after rows in ranks. What is the event? What is going on? You have come back to us. This is you. As we created you at first, you are back here with us. You have come back to me. Even though you claim Even though you claim that we will not have a fixed day with you Even though you claim that this day will not come Here you are Standing before the majesty Standing before Allah What is going to happen? And the book of our deeds will be laid in front of us and the book of your deed will be laid in front of you i'm taking you to that day and you will see the, the transgressor you will see the wicked you will see the bad people you will see the devils the evil the devils terrified of what it is of what is in it, in what's in that book. You say, woe to us. What a book is this? What kind of book is this? It's not living small nor big, nothing. It's neither living small or big nor big. Everything is out. Allah said, Allah said, they will find what they did present. Are you ready for that day? And your Lord never wronged anyone. You will find what you did. It is not fabricated. It is not a lie. You did it and you will see it there. Due to this day, Allah said to his messenger to tell you the importance of this day. How terrible this day is. Allah remind his messenger to tell us. Allah told his messenger Muhammad in the Quran, in Surah to Maryam, to remind you and I. Ya Muhammad, khawif ummatak. Oh Muhammad, oh Muhammad, warn them of the day of regrets. Warn them of the day of regrets. Warn them of the day of intense regrets. When decision, when the matter is decided, and they are in a state of carelessness. That's what we are doing today. And they do not believe. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the Imam Muslim narrated the hadith of Abi Sayyid al Khudri. He said, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yuja'u bil mawti yawm al qiyamah ka'annahu kapshun amlah. Death 
will be brought on the day of judgment. In the riwayah of Abu Quray, for you, kafu bayn al jannati wal nar, it will be placed between heaven and hellfire. Ka'annahu kapshun amla. In a form of a white colored ram. For you call, it will be said, Ya Ahl al Jannah, O oh, inmates of Jannah, Hal ta'rifuna hadha? Do you know this? For you shra'il burun, they will raise their necks up. Wayan zurun, and they will look. Now, Hadha al Mawt, yes, we know. This is death. Ya Ahl al Nar, Hal ta'rifuna hadha? O oh, you inmates of hell. Do you know this? For Yashra Ibn, they will raise their necks, and they will look, and they will say, Naam, yes, hath and mouth, this is death. For you bihi for you And Allah will give the command, command will be given, and it will be slaughtered. Death will die. The death itself will die. They will slaughter death. And it will be said, Ya Ahl al Jannah, O oh dwellers of Jannah, you will have everlasting life, no more death. Ya Ahl al Nar, O oh dwellers of hell, O oh inmates of hell, you will have everlasting life, no more death. No more death. In the messenger of Allah, due to this, he recited this ayah, الْحَسْرَى And warn them of the day of intense regrets in Qudri al when the matter is decided. What a regret. Among those who regret, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the hadith of Muslim, Abu Huraira, he said, the messenger of Allah said, أَتَدْرُونَ مَا muflis. Do you know who the poor is? Do you know who is the bankrupt? They said, the poor and the bankrupt among us is the one who has no money and no property. He said, "Inna al-muflisa min ummati man yati yawm al-qiyamah bi salatin wa siyamin wa zakah wa yati wa qad shatama hadha wa kadhafa hadha wa akala maala hadha wa safaka dama hadha wa daraba hadha Do you know the bankrupt person in my ummah? The one who will come on the day of judgment with an authentic prayer, very good prayer, five daily prayer, excellent. He will come with fasting, Ramadan, excellent. He gave zakah, excellent. But he came, he insulted that. And he falsely accused that. He said she committed zina. He didn't see it. But he said yes, and due to that she was divorced. And he falsely accused that. وَأَكَلَ مَالَ هَذَا And he wrongly consumed the money and the property of this. وَسَفَكَ دَمَ هَذَا And he spilled the blood of that. وَضَرَبَ هَذَا And he beat that. فَيُغْطَى هَذَا مِنْ حَسَنَاتِ وَهَذَا مِنْ حَسَنَاتِ Then they will down, they will take his deeds and will be given to this. His good deeds will be given to this. His good deeds will be given to that. فَإِنْ فَنِيَتْ حَسَنَاتُ قَبْلَ أَنْ يُقْضَى مَا عَلَيْهِ أُخِضَ مِنْ خَطَوَيَاهُمْ فَطُرِحَتْ عَلَيْهِ ثُمَّ طُرِحَ فِي النَّارِ What a regret. What a loss. When they give all his good deeds to them, those who suffer in his hand, and if all his good deeds fall short, now they will take their bad deeds and they will give it to him. They will take their bad deeds and give it to you. Yes, those you accused, those you consume their money, those you consume their money wrongly, those you accuse, those you spill their blood. What a loss. When everything is done, for have him now, and he will be thrown to, into hellfire. Remember, you don't want to be a loser. On that day, Among those who will lose on that day, and who will regret, my brother, my brother, who is your friend? Who do you take as a friend? 
ويوم يعد الظالم على يديه يقول يا ليتني اتخذت مع الرسول سبيلا. The day that some people and the wrong people, the wrong doers will bite their hands. I wish I had followed Muhammad. I wish I had followed the path of Muhammad. يا ويلتا ليتني لم اتخذ فلانا خليلا Woe to me Oh my God I wish I had never taken so and so as a close friend Why? You used to love him You followed him everywhere Whatever he tell you to do you do Yeah but لقد أضلني عن الذكر But he He led me astray He's, He misguided me from the remembrance after it came to me وكان الشيطان للإنسان خذولا indeed shaitan always betray humankind he's a betrayer among those who regret those who follow the path of shaitan in this world my dear brothers and sisters in Islam we need to be extra careful today some people because we are in this country because we are in this country today some people are following the, the acts of shayateen they are following the works of shaitan something that they use not they use not to do in their back home in their country because today they are in the west today they are in the united states they do whatever they want they follow the path of the shaitan today she threw her husband out of the house she said leave my house she called the cops on him leave without him doing anything to her i changed my mind i don't want you anymore why because we are in the united states this is the work of shaitan he disrespected her he treated her badly because he is following friends who are telling him to do so you will regret on that day Today she's walking half naked and if she goes back home she knows she cannot dress like that but they tell her this is the United States it is very hot it is summer and Allah told you inna shaytana lakum aduwwan fattakhidhuhu aduwwan shaytan is an enemy for you so treat him as an enemy and when the matter is decided, listen to Shaitan. وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانُ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعَدَ الْحَقِّ وَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ وَمَا كَانَ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانٍ إِلَّا أَنْ دَعْوَتُكُمْ فَاسْتَجَبِتُمْ لِي Shaitan will say, hey, Allah promised you and that was the truth and I promise you and you followed me. Okay? So do not blame me. Blame yourself. I have no power over you. You just followed me. And believe me, I led you astray. So never blame me. Blame your own self. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, last. Forgive me. I want to address this. Last. Among those who would regret if you worship something beside Allah, stop. If you worship something beside Allah, stop. Please. Because they will disown you. They will run away from you. They will deny your associating with them. Those who tell you go and bring today, do you know they sell human body? They sell human parts for ritual today. They just go like they are ordering McDonald's. Hello, I need hair. I need, I need human hair. I need a virgin breast. I need a I need a newborn baby head today those you go to them they tell you you know what bring the sperm of your husband I'm going to mix and give it to you whenever you give it to him he eats that's it he will never think of any woman even his mother he will run away from her Stay away from those people. They will learn, they will deny you. Listen to Allah. When those followed, deny those who follow them. They said, no, 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 no. We don't know you. You didn't follow us. Those who followed will say, we wish we had second chance. We will also disown them. What a loss and a regret is gone. Brother, another one, they will tell you, you said to Sabah. You will tell them, had it not been for you, we would have been believers. I remember when the Imam used to preach, he used to tell us to fear Allah. But because of you, I didn't listen to him. They will tell you, Did we tell you away from him? 
when he was talking, we didn't tell you, we didn't force you. But you yourself, you are bad. They will tell you that. And you say to them, No, no, no. It is the planning of the night and the day. When you told me to go and bury that animal alive, when you told me to go and bring that human head, when you told me to go and bring the sperm of my husband, when you told me to put my menstruation blood in the pool of my husband, وَأَسَرُّ النَّدَامَةَ لَمَّا رَعَوُ الْعَذَابِ وَجَعَلْنَا الْأَغْلَالَ فِي عَنَاكِ الَّذِينَ كَفَوْا هَلْ يُجْزَوْنَ إِلَّا مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Brothers and sisters of Islam وَالَّذِينَ تَدَعُونَ مِنْ دُونِهِ مَا يَمْلِقُونَ مِنْ كِطْمِيرِ إِنْ تَدَعُوهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُوا دُعَاءَكُمْ وَلَوْ سَمِعُوا مَا اسْتَجَابُوا لَكُمْ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ On the day of judgment يَكْفُرُونَ بِشِرْكِكُمْ They will say no, they don't know you. So please, please stop. If you worship something beside Allah, leave it alone. Otherwise you will regret. You will regret on the day when the re you, this is not going to benefit you. Today people do a lot of things for no reason, just for dunya. And this dunya is nothing. May Allah forgive us. May Allah forgive us our sin. So please come to Allah. My advice today to you, please leave it. Stop it. Fly to Allah. Come back to Allah. He will accept you. Yes, you commit shirk. Yes, you associated with Allah. You did. But run to Allah. Come to Allah. He will answer you. He will take you back. Because Allah is forgiven. He will forgive you. So ask him for forgiveness. May Allah forgive us all. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, among those who will cry, our Imam, our Imams, our scholars, some of them will cry on the day of judgment. I'm standing before you. Am I doing this for the sake of Allah? Or I'm doing it to be praised? I'm doing it for you to say I am somebody. If this is the case, I will lose. I will regret our Imam, that Imam, this Imam, this reciter. What did you do? Ya Allah, I learned religious knowledge and I taught religious knowledge. Quran and I said, Allah will say, You are lying. Yes, you learn for people to say, You are a scholar, you are a good scholar, you are a fine scholar, you had a lot of knowledge you did that because you want people to praise you for they already said it you read for people to say wow he has a beautiful voice you did that for people am i doing that for people are you doing that for people if yes loss allah doesn't want it if this is what we are doing for people to praise us, that is you. Let's fear Allah and do everything for Allah. May Allah forgive us. One of our brothers, a wonderful brother, is asking Jamal Fadwa. Things are hard for him. Please say, Amin. May Allah make things easy for him. May Allah make things easy for him. Whatever is bothering him, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take it away. All of you, he said, Amin. Allah knows your secrets. Duas. May Allah accept it for you. May Allah forgive us our sin. May Allah make this easy for us. May Allah increase our iman. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adhaba al-nar. Sallallahu wa sallam wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa kum ila sa'at.